Okay, so uh, we've unboxed the wheel, so I'm just gonna test it out, see how it works. Um, as I mentioned before, the on off switch is here on the side. Uh, the speed uh, control is here. So there's a pretty good range of speed. Um, so you can make it as fast or as slow as you like. And as you can hear, it's not very loud at all. It's very quiet. Um, so in my buckets here, I have my clay tools. I have a sponge with some water and I have my clay. So I'm just gonna do a quick test of the wheel where we'll make a small sauce bowl or something <laughs> for us to test the wheel with. So I started out by wetting the clay. I'm gonna make sure that my arms are kind of stable, rest my arms on the actual splash pan. And I'm gonna use the palms of my hand to get this clay started. Uh, so the first step of making a clay bowl is centering the clay. So I'm just gonna make sure the clay is wet at all times. And I'm just gonna lightly cup the clay with my hands. I'm making sure that my fingers are together so that the clay doesn't squish in between. And as you start to feel the clay getting sticky, I just add some more water, making sure the clay is nice and slippery. And I'm gradually tightening my grip. And you can see the clay starting to move up in between my hands to like a cylinder shape. And now I just wanna make sure that all the clay is in the middle of the wheel and get rid of all those bumps on the sides. So I'm just kind of using my hand and slowly kind of patting the clay down into a cone shape. The little mountain I'm creating this will be the shape after. All the bumps are almost gone. There's a few down by the bottom still, so I'm just gonna get rid of those before I start making it into a bowl. Okay, so it's pretty smooth here. I'm just gonna make it a little bit more shallow so it's easier for me to make a hole. And I'm using my thumbs just to press down in the middle. Kind of made like a big puck shape. So if I press down right in the middle of that, that will be the beginning of my bowl. And right now I'm not really worried about the size of the bowl. That's not really important right now. Just getting the hole started and making sure that the hole is actually in the middle. So you wanna press your thumbs down almost till you feel like you're getting pretty close to the vat. Um, but you don't want to go all the way down till there's no clay there at the bottom because then you don't have a bowl. And you have a gigantic tube or a straw, I guess. Um, if you're not sure, I can show you a trick on how to check. I'll just stop the wheel here. So I can use a wooden dowel 
And if I just stick the wooden dowel all the way down till it's hitting the mat, and I put my finger where the clay is, and I pull that out, that tells me how much clay is left at the bottom. So I'm gonna leave it like that because that's not too much clay there. So now I can turn the wheel back on. That little hole that I made, I can just heal it just by putting my finger or the sponge there to kind of just fill it in with some clay and moisture. Uh, now I can open up the bowl now that it's deep enough. So I'm gonna use my thumbs. I'm gonna go down to the deepest part of the bowl. I'm gonna spread my thumbs apart slowly and then bring them up the sides of the bowl. And it's important to make these very gradual movements because the bowl has to make a full rotation while your hand is in one position before it moves to the next position. Otherwise, you'll have one part of the bowl that's really thin and weak, whereas another part of your bowl will be chunky, and that will result in either a leaning bowl or a broken bowl. I have a pretty wide bowl there. Um, if you wanted your bowl to be a little bit, um, like not as wide, a little bit more upright, you can always use your hands and just cup it back in the place. And you can also use your sponge to help you if you have long nails <laughs> that always end up cutting into the bowl, you can use your sponge as a barrier. And there we have a bowl. Um, so just the finishing steps before I take it off is I like to just trim that little, this little part here where the bowl meets the wheel and it kind of goes like that. I like to trim that up a little bit. So I use this tool and I'm going to rest it up against the bat and go right up to the bowl and it will start trimming in the extra clay there. Okay, and then there's a little lump now that I've created. You can either smooth that out with your hands or the other edge of your tool here to kind of straighten that out.